having a hard time hiring people? Yeah, you and the rest of the universe. But guess what? Who in their right mind would take a job that risks their lives, aka getting COVID and dying, for 16 to 22 bucks an hour? Why 16 to 22 bucks an hour? Because that's what unemployment is paying. Right, wrong, or indifferent. If you're not paying what they can get by staying at home and staying safe, then your budget or lack of budget is actually the problem. The days of keeping your employees in poverty in order to achieve your business goals are long gone. They should have been long gone a long time ago, but the pandemic forced it to happen fast and furious. And yes, I know it sucks. It really does. But the only way you're going to get qualified employees, and I mean truly qualified, not just the qualifications you make up in your head, but truly qualified employees to do your job is to keep your employees out of poverty and maybe pay them enough so they don't have to work two or three jobs and come exhausted to yours. So that brings me to training and development. Hire people with no skills that you desire and implement a training and development program, ASAP, day one, and actually do it. That's the other thing that I see all the time is the first budget item to go is training and development, and then you wonder why your employees walk out that door. Sorry to be a negative Nelly here, but I'm here to tell you the truth in your face that you might be part of the problem. Be part of the solution and turn around and say, hey, what can I do differently? Let me hire people who have no skills or very little skills, but a great attitude and willingness to work for a decent pay. It's really not brain surgery but it does mean you're going to have to dust off your budget and all the income and revenue that you thought you were going to put in your pocket and start sharing it with the employees who work so hard to get you where you need to be. And if you can't do that, it may be time to go work for somebody else because a true business owner treats their employees well and doesn't expect to get rich off of keeping their employees in poverty.